Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I'm doing Belvini Ton 1401. This is batch six, bottled at 49.8% ABV. It was a US release only, and the vatting is comprised of seven ex bourbon casts and two sherry butts. When these first came out, I think they retailed for around 200 to 250, give or take. Since then, I've seen these on the secondary market for about $650 for this batch. I had an Eagle Rare 17 year old, which I paid pretty close to retail for. I was able to trade for this bottle. Uh, I'll let you know if that was a good trade after I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, on the nose. So the first thing I get here is a really well-aged sherry note. If you ever had like an older sherry whiskey, you kind of get that musty, almost kind of sherry. Um, when you walk into an antique store and you just smell like old stuff, that's what this smells like, but in kind of like a sherried form. It's really good. Prunes and plums to kind of go along with that sherry note. It was rumored that Belvini used some super old sherried whiskey to do these batches, like 35 plus year old stuff. And I think those rumors are probably true. You can definitely pick it up here. Um, like a really nice like maraschino cherry note. Have you ever had those like gourmet maraschino cherries they use for like old fashioned sometimes? I get that, kind of like the, the syrup from that. It's good. Everything in here is very nice, bold, rich. And then like a little bit of like floral, kind of like a fresh cut flowers, which is most likely coming from the ex bourbon cast. Yeah, it's good. And then maybe at the end, a little bit of leather. Again, if you walk into like a leather store and you get hit with that first wave of smell, that, that, that fresh new leather, so this smells like. Yeah, it's nice. You could, uh, you could live in this glass. That's really good. Okay, on to the palate. Yeah. So, so good. Rich grape, rich honey, almost like um, stewed plums. Everything is just like vibrant, really viscous, really, really nice. Kind of like um, jam, you get like a lot of jammy type notes, almost like an, like an unsweetened jam, like an unsweetened maybe strawberry jam. Man, that's good. Okay, and then I pick up a little bit of that gunpowder smoke. Now, when I tried the Belvini 25 single barrel, I picked up this exact same note, almost kind of like a gunpowder-ish type smoke. Definitely coming from those ex bourbon casts. I'm going for another sip. Oh, yeah, that's really good stuff. Finish, nice and long, mouth watering. You get a little bit of spice, maybe like a little bit of cinnamon. The sherry, again, um, honey notes. Belvini is known for their honey. Their honey shines through here. You get that all in the finish. That's really good. Yeah. Really, really nice. Really great whiskey. Maybe a little bit of oak. Oak on the finish there too. That's nice. Um, when I first tried this, I did it with Whiskey in the Six Live. Not the same whiskey it is now. This thing needs time to open up for sure. Um, it needs time to oxidize. It's way, way improved since the first time I tried it. Absolutely great whiskey now. I let this sit for about 40 minutes before I started the review and it definitely needs it. This one needs time to open up for sure. Um, the sherry butts kind of dominate here. Even though there's just two sherry butts and um, five X bourbon, the sherry butts kind of move to the forefront, but the X bourbon kind of just add those depths of flavor really, really nicely. Did a great job of playing this one for sure. Um, really, really great whiskey. Uh, Non-age statement. This is what I think Balvini's only non-age statements. I could be wrong, but I think the Ton series are one of, if not the only uh, expressions they don't put a, don't put an age on. Not that it matters. I'm not a big guy for age statements. Um, this is a great example of why you don't boycott non-age statement products. Absolutely great stuff. Not saying that every non-age statement is going to be as good as this, but um, 
you know, that's why there's reviewers. That's why you can take a look and get an opinion before you buy. But this is definitely one of the tops for sure that I've had. I mean, I've had the Belvini 25, I've had the Belvini 30. This is better in my opinion for sure. And by a significant margin. Um, I'm gonna give this a big score. It deserves it uh, 92 and a half out of 100. Super great whiskey, well deserving of the score. Um, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried a Belvini ton? Uh, what batch have you tried? Have you tried the 1409? Sorry, the 1401, the 1509? Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. Appreciate it, guys. Cheers.